So in the last video, I was looking at my base moldings and my crown moldings, and I noticed that this wall was off as well. So my first intention or my first thought was just move the wall over and then it'll fit everything properly. And same thing with the base molding, if I just move it over. But before I did that, I went to look at the first floor plan and I said, well, this door needs to be centered um, on these walls. So if that's true, if the center line of this wall and the dimension all the way over to this wall is equal, then I don't want to move the wall because then I would have to move the door as well. So you can see that they're equal now. So I am going to want to modify the crown. So edit in place, pick the crown, edit the sweep, sketch the path. I could still do it at the first floor. And I will just align this guy over to here and say, OK, and OK, and OK. Let's go back to that section. This guy looks good. This guy needs some help. Edit in place. Sketch the path back to the first floor again. You can see that it goes out. And I want, I do want the crown molding to turn. And this is the little trick that I use is I just draw a line like that and then align it. So my crown actually turns a corner back, or it should. Let's see what happens there. Looks like it might be OK. So this time I want to take a picture of it just to explain what I just uh, spoke about. And also to double check to make sure it's right. See how I want my crown to actually return back. I don't want to just leave it, the, the edge of it exposed. I want my crown to return back. And that does turn return back <clears throat> that way. Um, I only want it to go to the wall, but the path would uh, is actually right at the at the face of the wall. So I have to actually tell Revit to put it inside the wall a little bit. All right. Well, I'm not seeing anything wrong here. So we'll clean up there. <clears throat> 